Sofia. Let's go, please. Enough of the hugging. Let's go. I said, let's go. <laughs> Save it, save it. Save your son. Okay. I, my husband, I don't know. There is something I would like us to discuss. So I should be talking while eating? No. Is that it? No, no, no. Not at all. I, I will just leave. Just go. So I should leave the work that puts food on the table and stay back and discuss something with you. I'm asking you. Are you sure? Ever since our daughter left, you have neither eaten nor drank anything. No. She is all we had. I know. But you know what happened. She made that choice. I can't believe I helped her make the decision. It's not your fault. Neither is it that of our daughter, Mama? 
It is my fault. My wife. Nine. Uh, what is this thing you're holding? Go. Where do you think you're going? Uh, to hunting, of course. <sighs> now, let me ask you. Uh -huh. Ask. When was last time you visited the forest? Uh, ever since the doctor said I should stop. But I can't continue staying at home just like that, doing nothing. So I have to visit the forest again. Nay, I am happy you said it. The doctor said you should not. Why are you trying to object the doctor's order? The um, doctor said you should not do things that will be very hard for you. Even a long distance. It's no longer good for your health. Why are you trying to do it now? Uh, happy for, happy for. As you can see, I'm very fit. I'm fit. Yes, I have missed the forest. Do you know, how can I just be staying at home doing nothing? Just like that. I do. Eh? And you know, this one thing is the only thing I know how to do very well. Just let me go. Eh? Let me go. How can somebody just be at home doing nothing from year to year? It's somehow. Let me visit the forest again. It's over one year since I visited the forest. Too. Nay, Biko. My husband. No. I beg you in the name of God. Please, don't go. It's not good for your health. Please. Uh, please, let me go. Uh -huh. I, will, I promise you I will not stay long. I will come back now, now. Under this rain? Yes. All trees must have been slippery because last time, the last animal you killed, you told me that you clamp a, a, a tree when you try to target the animal. See, uh, I promise you no tree climbing today. Besides, the rain has stopped. The moistness of the leaves will make the animals fall asleep. So, I will kill Nchimurimwa for you today. Watch. I will come back now, now. Now, it, I will not take time, eh? <laughs> now, now. Wow. But this is doctor's report. Doctor warned you, seriously. May God guide you. Nothing bad will happen to you. Oh. Omalicham, who got you angry? Tell me the person. Who is responsible for your tears? Please, sir. Please, just leave me alone. Please. This is no time for your usual disturbances. Please. I am serious. Forget the idea that I want you to have you as my wife. There is no way I could see you in pain or tears without going to the root of it. Tell me, who is responsible for this? My, my father is... My father is dying at the village clinic. What? Yes. What happened? He was attacked by a wild animal. And... The surgery is mandatory to save his life. We don't have any money. <laughs> it's okay. But he will be fine after the surgery. Okay? Yes, yes, sir. Then no problem. I will help you. How much is it? Uh, 300,000 Naira, sir. What? That is what the doctor is asking us to bring. Hi! Yes. I don't think I can be of help. Oh. Please, sir. Please, please, sir. Just, just help us. Help us, please. If there's any way you can help us, I would really appreciate it. You don't have to kneel down for me, please. I have begged you for this before, and I'm begging you again. Address me as Osondo or Awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Please. 
please, sir. Help me. Get Help. Up. I don't want my father to die. Get up. I should get up. Yes, get up. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I have decided to help this family raise the sum of 300,000 needed for the surgery. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. Oh, thank you hey. so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you May sir. God bless you. Amen. May you live long. Thank you so much. Hey. Thank you, Ndam. Hey. But I will want to know how you pay me back the money because it's not a gift. It is a loan. So I need some type of collateral. Something I can hold on to. But, but sir, we... we Ah, we... The name is Osondo. Oh, um, Osondo. Osondo, please, sir. We don't have anything. In fact, we don't have anything we will use as a collateral. Even the land we farm on is not even our own. Please, sir, help us. Eh? Help us. You want me to help you? Yes, sir. I must have something to hold on to. Uh, eh? I need something I can hold on to. Um, welcome. No. Hey. You've heard my daughter. We don't have anything. There's nothing we can use. And who said who said you don't have anything? You have something, which is what I'm looking at here now. Sir, what? Who me? Huh? <laughs> How can you use me as a collateral? And who said anything about collateral? Marry me and let me save the life of your father. That way you don't need to pay me back any money. Uh -huh. This is God ordering you from above. Did you hear that? Oh. 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 Mm. Thank you, Adam. Ah, uh, you people have not told me the good Samaritan that paid my hospital bill. Um, nay. <laughs> um, I said I will tell you about him, but it's when you recover fully. Oh. Ah, uh, but I, I would like to know it now. Um, Mama, there is no need hiding it. We need to tell Papa. Mama, no, don't. Tell me what. Tell him what? What do you want to tell him? Papa. What do you want to tell him now? Allow her, please. Adam. Um, Papa. We had to go into an agreement with Osondu, the mechanic, in order to raise money to pay your hospital bill. Okay. What agreement? That I will marry him. What? I have decided to sell everything I have. Or anything else I can lay my hands on. I must raise that 300,000. And I will return his bright price to him. Never will he be allowed to spend this forthcoming Christmas with our daughter. Never. No. That is going to cause a lot of trouble. Had he been your brother Chibogo, he's still alive. All this, all this misfortune wouldn't have been falling on us. If not that the enemy killed him after building this house. All these things wouldn't have been falling on us. Please, don't do it. You don't even know if you are going to come up with such amount of money. What do we have to sell? What? What are you going to sell now? To get such amount of money? Please, let her be. Our daughter has made that sacrifice and she begged us to let her be. Yes, you know that. 
No. My soul shall not be at rest, knowing that my daughter sacrificed her life for my sake. I, I, I can't. She did what she did that you may live. She saved you. And it is now my turn to save her. And I will. Where has this girl gone to? Hello? What? Accident? How? Where? Where, where, where is she now? How come accident? What happened? Where are you going to? Who is pursuing you? Is it your business? Is it your business? Come, I cannot stand you. Open this your dirty mouth to insult me. How dare you? I'm going to do quaggy. I'm going to do quaggy. I'm going to do Come and eat this thing. It is obvious you don't have respect. You don't have respect. Go, let me have the gun. Let me have the gun. This one is this one now, eh? What kind of wala is this one again? Uh-uh. Bro, you say, Pazan, look at what is wrong with you. Are you, are you a hunter? Why will you carry your father's gun? I don't even know what a dad me. That made me carry this gun. What am I hunting? Do something attack me here. If this man is dead now, what will I tell the villagers? What if this man is dead now? What will I say? What will I say? Somebody will not stay in one place. You don't mind your business. If you are going to on your own now, will I shoot you? Will I shoot you?
I have warned that your cursed girl never to tamper with anything that belongs to me again in this house. Nay, nah, my daughter is not cursed. If you say that again, I will not take it lightly with you. Ah! Then what is she if she's not cursed? 